Welcome to another edition of Your Daily Five. I'm your host for the day, John Colucci, Johnny Scan. Let's get right into it. We've got a very interesting show today. We're going to take a look at Surfing the KST, Martin Pring's No Sure Thing. Very, very interesting technical feature available on stock charts. Let's take a look at what the KST is. The No Sure Thing it's a momentum oscillator that uses rates of change, smoothing those from four different time frames to come up with an aggregate rate of change value, which is the KST. Also uses a nine period simple moving average to create a signal line that gives us the ability to look at how the KST interacts with its own moving average. One of the things I really like to do when scanning. Let's take a look at a method of scanning with this. There's a lot of information on the stock chart site about how to use the KST and scanning for uh, divergences and signal line cross, zero line cross, a lot going on there. We're going to take it real, real simple. In our case, we're going to look at a situation where the KST value was greater than its signal line five days ago. So we're going to push that condition back five days, giving us the KST higher than the signal value five days ago. Today, that signal line is going to be above the KST. So some point in the past five days, the KST has moved below the signal value. That indicates some potential form of weakness because momentum as rate, uh, related by the KST line has gone below its signal, slowing momentum. We don't specify whether the momentum is negative or positive, just that it becomes lower than the signal line. Very interesting for scanning implications. We'll cover those in a minute. We're going to rank by an ascending sort using the KST value itself. The importance here is that the KST value will be most negative first, less smallest value first. If we do a regular sort, not using the word ascending, we would get the highest values first. Very interesting implications on sorting aspect. We're going to cover that a little bit later in the show. So let's see what happens when we run this scan. When we run this scan, we get about 56 results. I cut the result part off to get it all in because the last column is our sort column. If your sort did, in fact, run, then it will always be the far right column. When we use the daily KST, there's so many numbers going on, it makes that column huge. So we cut that down to get everything in the screen. We do see our most negative value, Zebra Tech, is the first on the list, minus 141.448. Going down the list, we see that those numbers are becoming less and less negative. In other words, larger. Smallest to large, that's an ascending sort. Uh, a standard sort goes from largest to smallest. Big, big implications for your scanning analysis. Let's take a look at the first chart that we have here. This is ZebraTech and just a tremendously poor performance this year, 2022. Started out about 609, 615 area on the last two highs, down to 420. Uh, mere six, seven weeks later. Look at how the OBV lines are down. 50 has crossed and a death cross under the 200. Look at that negative slope on the KST and the signal line, as well as at relative strength to the VTI and the scooter value itself. We're down to a 7.5 value on the scooter from something up in the 90 neighborhood earlier uh, in or later in 2022, approximately a quarter ago. So very, very bad performance there. If you look in the Zoom thumbnail, you'll see that we had a positive cross of the KST very briefly 
back down. So during our five-day period, our KSD value was higher than the signal line, but crashed down through that and now has the biggest uh, negative value, let's say, of the KST way down at the uh, negative uh, 140 uh, neighborhood. Let's go ahead and take a look at our second candidate. Here is American Waterworks, AWK. Uh, very much of a family resemblance. We see that OBV lines are all pointing down. We had a high late uh, 21, uh, 188 neighborhood, all the way down to 144 and change, uh, 148 and change, about a 20% reduction over six weeks. That had to hurt. Uh, dividend stock at 1.63%, but not cheap at 35 times earnings. Look at what the uh, KST line has done went way, way down to the negative 100 neighborhood and then has stabilized there. So the rate of decline has slowed over the past uh, week or two. We see tremendous decline in the first month of the year, January, and then it's slowing down a bit. So our rate of change, although still negative, has not been as aggressive as it was early on. We see that the VTI uh, comparison shows us tremendous lack of strength, and indeed it's uh, grossly underperforming the VTI, and the scooter has dropped way, way down. So here we're using the KST with a negative cross in the last five days combined with the ascending sort gives us the worst of the worst. First, and remember, it's rate of change that we're keying in on with the momentum oscillator KST. Let's take a look at our next stock. Here we have S&P Global. This is a very interesting chart. We see the same negative characteristics of OBV lines down, 50 about to cross under the 200, negative slope on the uh, KST. And by the way, the KST does have a 50 period moving average, smooth things out a little bit for us. And that's the blue line in the KST window. Uh, S&P to BGI still, uh, BTI still down negative uh, performance there. And then uh, the uh, scooter line also performing quite poorly. So here we have uh, Wyckoffian set of structures uh, in the world of Wyckoff. We see really a compound or complex distributional structure that started really back in September and then held a lot of distribution right up the top of uh, the original structure in the 454 neighborhood. That went all the way through the main structure, rally back, old support, new resistance, back down into the 375 area. So tremendously poor performance uh, for S&P Global over the last really two quarters almost. Now, now we're going to take a look at what the effect of our sorting criteria is. If we go all the way down to the other end of the list, we have a phenomenally different picture of how the KSD can help us. One of the leading stocks out there, Occidental Petroleum, big, big moves in the energy complex, uh, XLE, check that out. But we see a very, very different picture here. We did get the scan return that we wanted, which is prior uh, five days ago, the KST was above the signal line and it is now below the signal line. But look at the tremendous difference that we have in this picture. S &P, or the uh, Oxy has broken out of a substantial structure dating back to March of 21, and that breakout is now holding up in the 42 to 44 neighborhood. In turn, that is what we'd like to see as Wyckoffians. We had a structure forming cause. That cause gave rise to a breakout. And we have lots of confirmation on the chart. We have the OBV lines both pointing up. We have positive slope on both the 50 and the 200 SMA. 
they're in the proper order upslope on the KST remember we did not ask for the KST to be tilting in any one direction we simply ask that there be a cross sometime in the last five days look at the relative strengths to the VTI oxy is substantially outperforming the VTI and the scooter value is just about as high as you can get so very interesting turnabout here just the other end of the list from the same scan another one to take a look at quickly another oil stock marathon MRO and look at how this is broken out of uh, a large structure again dating back to March we had a substantial period of consolidation after that breakout in the November to February area and we're up and out uh, hugging the top of the uh, uh, upper channel line here we see that OBV is up 50 and 200 in the proper order with positive slope. We also have uh, upsloping moving average on the KST, that's the blue line. And we see that we got that temporary little bit of weakness, if you look in the thumbnail window, where the KST has in the past five days crossed underneath its signal on positive slope on both relative strength and uh, the scooter is holding just about as high as you can get at 99.6. Fantastic options we have when we use sorting in conjunction with our scanning objectives. Here our scanning objective was to look at the worst of the worst, but we could very easily just comment out double slash the word ascending and we're going to get the strongest stocks who have recently cross under had the KST cross under the signal very very interesting uh, study of an indicators interaction with its own moving average if you want to learn more about that take a look at Martin Pring's book technical analysis explains actually on sale at the uh, stock charts bookstore another quick announcement I have a newsletter coming out uh, on Wyckoff Analytics, Wyckoff Market Report. This is a scanning based newsletter, so a little bit different than uh, what's out there now. Uh, check out my friends over at Wyckoff Analytics. Great bunch of folks over there, lots of free material and tons of courses, coursework, live ed education. Just a fantastic opportunity for those who do want to become familiar with the Wyckoff discipline. That's all for today on Your Daily Five. Great to be here. John, Johnny Scan Colucci signing off. Thank you very much. Hey, Grayson Rose here with Stock Charts. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, consider giving it a like down below. Maybe leave us a comment. And if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe at the link up above. We're going to bring you daily content from an incredible collection of technical analysts and financial experts.